and welcome to my house and my channel and my first video. I have a little bit of content to share with you guys. So today we're going to be doing a bit of renovation. I'm super excited about it and let's go on inside. It's nice to be away from the extremely loud waterfalls. Through my living room and into the room in question. So today I was thinking about making a kitchen because I've put it off for so long. I had a kind of kitchen in here, which was only to get more points on the, oh, what is it called? The thing that happens every Saturday evening. Um, it was, I basically had a bunch of diner stuff in here, but it wasn't my style at all. It was just there for trying to get the final trophy. So I want to change this into something a bit more me or a bit more modern and yeah so let's start that i've got some of the some things that i think are gonna go well i'll see i have some more things obviously in my storage but my storage is just so full and i'm such a hoarder oh my goodness as you can see here i only have nine spaces remaining oh dear so Let's start with the wallpaper. And I took quite a bit of time to decide. I was looking for something quite neutral, quite white, just because I feel like it gives it more of a clean look. Makes it more spacious looking, I think. And I also found that without the actual window, I mean, these look nice, but without the like physical window, it kind of made it look too enclosed for me, so I was looking through the ones I had for the ones with a window. I kind of settled on this one. It's very clean cut, and even though it is a subway wall, I still like it for the kitchen. <laughs> then I moved on to the flooring. I looked at some whiter floors, some coloured floors, the white floors, the whites were not quite matching up with the wall, so I ended up looking at some more off grey and these brick walls, wall <laughs> floors. And yeah, then in the end it was between this brown one and this other grey one. Greyish, light grey. And I ended up going for this grey one. I felt like it worked more for a kitchen. I think the other one was a little bit too grand, but I still think it would have worked. And this is when I realized having it all in my like backpack was not the best idea. <laughs> so these are my main pieces of furniture for the kitchen. I just have to decide which direction everything needs to be facing in. I am going to leave a little bit of a gap because I was wanting to put a dining room table somewhere. So I'm trying to put most of the things around the edge at the back and I guess kind of the left hand side next to the window. Um, and I decided to put the sink next to the window because that's the way it is at my home in the UK. So. <laughs> That's where sinks go, according to my brain. So the biggest problem, well, maybe not problem, but thing that's giving me the most thought is what to put in this, in that corner, as there are no corner units in Animal Crossing, to my knowledge, to my knowledge. Next, I'm thinking about where to put the stove, playing with it next to the fridge, but in my brain, if you put the stove on, that's going to melt the side of the fridge. Again, just my brain thinking brain things. So I'm swapping it with this counter just to see how it looks. But I still don't like that corner bit. It doesn't look terrible, but... So I'm playing around with this unit here to see if two either side of the sink. Of course, it has the symmetry going for it. But I feel it's too samesy or... yeah. So 
so I look through my inventory to see what I have. And I realize maybe I could put something small in the corner, like a plant. And yeah, I really like the result. And looking at this, I like how it looks. I've just got to turn that and swap those two. And yeah, I think that's the major bits of furniture done. Time to add all of the littler things. Like this adorable little frying pan. I love that you can change what's inside it. It's so great. The not so little table with cloth that I put in the corner. Leaving it for later, trying to get it out of the way. Originally, I was thinking of putting the table next to the window because it would be nice to have light onto it, but I decided against it and yeah. I think the thing I struggle most with decorating inside the houses in Animal Crossing is stuff on the walls because stuff on the walls makes so much difference and sometimes I just can't find the right thing and other people can just find such beautifully placed items and it just makes it so much better. So now looking in my storage for any extra things and I think that if I had a different coloured set of dishes, dishwashing dishes, the, I think like a black one would work really well but for now I think that the white dinnerware looks good. and the time has come to start moving things on the walls. <laughs> the first issue I'm having is with the frying pan rack. So I decided to put it over there instead of where it would probably more likely be, which is next to the stove. <laughs> but if I want to keep that plant in the corner, I'm gonna have to put the knives there instead, which also I like. I feel like this little shelf is really good at elevating the bigger units and that this cuckoo clock looks quite cottagey. I was trying to hang it over the window there, a little bit too low, <laughs> but in the end I just put it center over there because I thought that it balanced it quite well. I absolutely love all of the different designs on Mum's Tea Cozy is so adorable. I want to find some way of using like all the different designs, but I just can't think of something that would require a bunch of <laughs> tea cozy. I guess a, a different kind of cafe. <gasps> if you guys have any ideas, please do write in the comment section. I will read all of them. I need ideas right now. I'm experimenting with this kitchen island, but I just don't think the colour is right. It's the only colour I have in the kitchen island. So yeah, unfortunately, I can't use it. So I haven't really talked about what kind of style I'm going for with this kitchen, or in my entire island in fact. With the kitchen, I was going for a kind of modern British cottage, I guess. My island's general theme is kind of cottage core, a bit too colorful for it maybe, but just me having fun. Oh, and nature is a big part of it as well. I really like making kind of natural foresty kind of areas and that's why I've got quite a lot of deer villagers on my island, like Eric and Deirdre and Diana. So back to the build and yeah, I was experimenting with the different types of chair back then and now I'm just 
thinking that the walls are a little bit bare. So I'm just adding some extra touches here and there, like the brooms and things like that. Now I'm putting some garlands, thinking about some other additions to the wall. I like that garland. Or bunting, as we might say in the UK. <laughs> and for this wall, it's really bare. I wish there was a window on that wall. I think that would have made it perfect if there was a window. So I just am deciding what to put on it right now. I quite like the art wall. So maybe as I collect fake pictures, especially from my villagers, maybe I'll just have a collection of fake artwork in my kitchen wall. And finally, now I'm looking at some rugs. I don't actually have that many rugs. I have only blue kitchen mats. Hmm. So just trying two of these blue kitchen mats. I mean, I think it looks okay. But I feel like most of the colours here are kind of light, so I feel like a darker colour would work better. This brown one. I think together, I don't... For me, I don't think it works too well. So yeah, I guess I'll just have to look out for Sahara buy more of her rugs. <laughs> I do buy them every time she's here. I feel like I get the same ones quite often. Maybe I need to trade on Nukazan or something. But yeah, I think this is pretty much done. Let's have a look. Yeah, I really like it. I think it looks cute. And yeah, this rug is a little bit annoying to me, but I'll just, yeah. I don't know why it's taken me this long to make a kitchen, to be honest. Because I absolutely love baking and cooking in all its forms. So I guess I made a cafe which has a small kitchen outside, but that's about it. This is my first real kitchen in game. <laughs> I really wish my current apartment's kitchen looked like this. That would be amazing. Currently, I live in Japan, so kitchens are usually on the small side, even compared to Britain, which are smaller than, say, America or Canada, in general, I mean. Um, so in my apartment, I only have a stove, a sink, and a tiny drying space, and that's it. In Japan, we don't generally have ovens. Like, kitchens don't come with ovens, I mean. Um, Instead, people generally use like a microwave oven, which has an oven setting. Um, also, yeah, having no side space, I have to chop all of my vegetables and everything on my tiny kotatsu. Um, a kotatsu is a like small heated table, Japanese table. And so yeah, I bring that from there to the stove all the time. <laughs> it's fine. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I think that might be one too many fines. But anyway, when I move home, I think the kitchen will be my top priority. But I digress. Thank you so much for watching today. And it was really fun to start this way. And if there's anything that you would have done differently, I'm sure there's a billion things. And any items that you recommend, please just let me know down in the comments. and. If you like the video, give it a like. Thanks so much. See you in the next video. Bye.